Hey everyone, we are discussing some helpful tips for your system design interviews. These tips can come in handy whether you have an upcoming interview or just want to maximize your practice sessions. Let's dive right in. The first tip we have for you is to avoid diving into the details too early. It's common to get caught up in discussing various services, databases, and clients. But when you focus in one part of the system and delve into every little detail, it can consume a lot of time. For instance, when talking about a client, some people may start discussing the protocol and get into the nitty-gritty details. While this information may be important, it's crucial to keep in mind that you don't want to spend all your time talking. You want the interviewer to be able to provide feedback as well. In system design interviews, you can often run into trouble if you start going into detail and take a wrong turn that the interviewer didn't want. They might not stop you and you will end up wasting time and making mistakes that will cost you. To avoid this, make sure you don't get into too much detail until you're certain or have asked for guidance. This is crucial because you don't want to lose points or cost your team money in the real world. So remember to stay on track and clarify with the interviewer before diving too deep. A good approach is to start by saying, I'll be using a gateway to communicate with all my services. Then, take a moment to see if the interviewer has any feedback or questions. Next, you can add, for the specific service, I'll be using the HTTP protocol because it's widely used and easy for clients to use. Remember to pause and let the interviewer guide the conversation. If they want more details about the database, they may ask you to draw an entity relation diagram to define your tables better. Don't rush into the details. Instead, wait for the interviewer to show interest and then focus on the areas that need more explanation. The second point is to avoid having a fixed architecture in mind. If you're set on using a particular architecture like MVC or event-driven, you might struggle to fit the requirements into the system. The interviewer might even try to test your flexibility by throwing completely different requirements at you. Instead, keep it simple and don't get too caught up in the details of one specific part of the architecture. Take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Sometimes what you're doing in one part of the system can extend to other parts, making the system more simplified. If you see one part of the system becoming too complex, try extracting components from it and extending them to the other bits. Remember to focus on keeping it simple stupid. KISS When you're designing a system, it's important to remain flexible, especially when requirements change unexpectedly. It's common for interviewers to test your ability to adapt, so don't become too attached to a specific architecture. Even if you've read about a great architecture on a blog, it may not fit the specific requirements of the project. For example, WhatsApp and Uber have very different architectures. The KISS principle, which stands for Keep It Simple Stupid, is a popular philosophy among programmers. Don't become too focused on one specific part of the system, or you may lose sight of the bigger picture. Take a step back and examine the entire architecture to see if any components can be extended to other parts of the system. If one part of the system is much larger than the others, it may be an indication that the system needs to be simplified. By extracting components from one part and extending them to other parts of the system, you can create a more streamlined and efficient architecture. The fourth point that's often overlooked in system design interviews is the failure to provide justifications for your points. You may say something like, I'm going to use a NoSQL database, specifically Cassandra, but without any explanation as to why. It's essential to back up your points with solid reasoning. Sometimes, the silence that follows after you explain something can be uncomfortable, and it may cause you to want to keep talking, even if you're not entirely sure of your point. This can lead to making half-hearted comments or points that could potentially harm your chances of getting the job. Take your time and think things through before speaking. Another essential point to keep in mind is to stay up to date with current technologies. If you mention specific databases or off-the-shelf solutions in your system design, make sure you know what you're talking about. For instance, you could name a NoSQL database like Cassandra or Amazon DynamoDB. For load balancing, you might use Elastic Load Balancer, and for heartbeats, you might use Zookeeper. By demonstrating your knowledge of these technologies, you show that you're well informed and that it'll take less time to implement your proposed feature. So, those are 5 essential do's and don'ts for acing your system design interview. Your interview success relies on 3 pillars, clarity of thought, flexibility, and knowledge. Being able to express yourself clearly to your interviewer highlights your ability 
ability to do the same with your teammates. Don't get stuck on a single architecture. Be adaptable and adjust to changing requirements. Keeping up to date with current technologies and off-the-shelf solutions demonstrates your expertise and ability to design a system effectively. Keep these tips and tricks in mind, and you'll be on your way to landing your dream job. To increase your chances even further, watch our video on how to improve interview skills. It gives an overview of how to approach common interview questions. If you found our content helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more useful tips. We'll see you next time.